The growing backlash across the globe tonight over that prank call to that London hospital where Kate Middleton was staying and then the suicide of the nurse who fell for that prank, patching that call through. Tonight, we're learning more about the nurse and the new face-off between the hospital and that radio station. Did they break the law? ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman is in London tonight. Jeffrey. Good evening, David. We are seeing a global backlash against those two Australian DJs and the radio station. And today, this hospital that was a victim of the prank joined in the condemnation. The radio DJs may have thought it was just an innocent hoax, but no one is laughing now. Oh, hello there. Could I please speak to Kate, please, my granddaughter? Oh, yes, just hold on now. We now know that was the voice of 46-year-old nurse Jacinta Saldanha, who really believed it was the Queen calling to inquire about the health of the Duchess of Cambridge. The nurse, a mother of two, appears to have killed herself. We called the hospital where Kate... The radio DJs have been taken off the air. Their boss says the two are deeply shocked, but he refuses to condemn them or fire them. This is a tragic event that could not have been reasonably foreseen, and we're deeply saddened by it. The two presenters are being vilified in an avalanche of anger that is venting on the Internet. Don't suppose that prank seems so funny now, does it? Today, the chairman of King Edward VII Hospital sent a stinging public letter to the owners. This hospital cares for sick people, and it was extremely foolish of your presenters even to consider trying to lie their way through to one of our patients. The consequence? Tragic beyond words. The nurse, known to friends as Jess, had been working at the hospital for four years. She is originally from India, and on Facebook, her husband said today she will be buried there. Tonight, attending a charity function on his own, Prince William did not mention the hoax or the tragedy that has followed. The hospital has been advised that the Australian broadcasters may have broken the law. The station owners say that's not true, but it's clear they are under siege. Faced with a mounting boycott by advertisers, management has decided to pull all ads from the station until further notice.